by the alchemy of self-sacrifice, selflessness, and surrender. So he is uh, in charge of the heart chakra. Kind of interesting. So uh, a very interesting show now. So keep it going here. We've got lots to do. We've only got nine minutes. Okay. <laughs> so this is a very interesting shaman also. This is uh, Serapis Bay, and he is a shaman of the fourth ray of purity, and he's the hierarch of the Ascension Temple at Luxor. Now, I didn't realize this, you know, we went to Egypt and saw Luxor, but we really didn't realize, you know, who was in charge of that place. And the 13th member, member of the Council of Adepts of the Ascension Temple. He is also known as Serapis Sole, Serapis of the Sun. The fourth ray is the Ascension Flame, the white light of the Mother in the base of the spine chakra. You know, a lot of us are taught it's a red chakra. But guess what they taught me? It's red because of all our anger <laughs> and our connection to all the anger on the planet. And so when we clear all our anger, our base chakra actually becomes white. Wow. Isn't that wow. interesting? I've never heard that. Yeah, I hadn't either until I learned about Serapis uh, Bay. Uh, okay, so out of the white light comes architecture, the principles of mathematics, the foundation of building, the matter temple, and the pyramid of self because we actually build pyramids within ourselves. And as we build those and strengthen them, it makes our art feel improved. Uh, the presence of Serapis, one knows an entirety different conception of what we call the Christ, the real person of all of us known as the great disciplinarian. Serapis came from Venus also with the Ancient of Days to rekindle the sacred fire in the hearts of a wayward mankind, his great enthusiasm to reclaim the sons of man as kings and priests unto God swelled and mounted into the flame of iron will, determination, and discipline. Now, so he's kind of here to help us get through all of this, and, uh, and a very important uh, show on. Okay, so now we're moving on. How much time we got? Seven minutes. Okay. So I've got two more to go through. Or maybe three. I made pictures of everybody. That was important. Okay. Now, this is Hilarion. Sounds kind of hilarious. <laughs> but Hilarion is very important also. He's important with uh, truth and science. Now, science is a religion, believe it or not. They have belief systems, but they don't believe necessarily in gods and shohans and these kind of things. And Hilarion is in charge of bringing science and truth together because science is a bunch of skeptics, and a lot of them are atheists, and a lot of them you know, just don't have belief systems in anything they can't see, hear, smell, touch, or taste. And Hilarion is here to help, and he is the, the Shohan, uh, oh goodness, I kind of lost his ray, but uh, he's the, the ray of the emerald, and so very powerful, and there is a hidden heart chakra that he's in charge of, and a lot of people don't even know about it because uh, they don't have those abilities. Would somebody make that up for me? So anyway, the tips over there. Now, there's Lady Master Nada. Who's heard of Lady Nada? I heard of him, her first when Michael Shane came. And I uh, hadn't really heard of her much. But she's the shaman of the sixth ray of service. The ascended Lady Master Nada. Uh, purple and gold ray of peace administration, so she ministers to people and helps them heal, and service. She is also a member of the karmic board on which she serves as a representative of the third ray, the pink ray of divine love. Nada is an initiate and master of the path of the ruby ray. 
She teaches the unfolding of the rose of the heart, helping us to develop the sensitivity of the heart. She is very much involved with the initiation and sponsorship of Twin Flames and the Aquarian Age family. She also ministers to the uh, families of the world's children and the legions of angels who personally tend to the needs of the youth and the needy. Nada says, I give you my love for all else I have already given away. The motto of her disciples is, I serve. And so she helps people learn how to be of service. Because one of the uh, important things I've learned about becoming a master is we need to learn how to serve others. Isn't that interesting? So we put Lady Nada up there. Yep. Now, the last one I know a lot about because I've met him, talked to him, and that is St. Germain. He is a Shohan of the seventh ray. And his ray is for protection, perfection, and teaching us how to become masters. He's also in charge of the Aquarian era here upon planet Earth. Jesus was in charge of the Piscean era, and uh, St. Germain uh, took the place of, of Jesus. Not the place, because Jesus is still there, but he's moved on to even higher dimensions in his own evolution. And so St. Germain uh, is here as the seventh ray, assisting Jesus, because Jesus is actually in charge of everybody here. So uh, he came to help organize the planet and get the love movement going. And all of these shohans do everything with pure love. So that's why it's very important to learn how to love purely and completely. St. Germain uh, uses the purple uh, or the violet flame of divine love to purify us, getting rid of karmic stuff that we build over lifetimes. And so it's very important to focus on Saint Germain because he actually helps us to get rid of uh, negative karma, get rid of uh, negative thought forms, uh, clean up our entire uh, mind, emotions, body, and soul. So thank you for listening uh, about the uh, seven Shohans. I've got a lot more pictures than seven because some of these are previous Shohans, but uh, they're all very important. My, uh, does anybody have any questions? This is kind of a deep subject. This is like mysteries that we don't hear about. Kuan Yin, any of these people? Now, Kuan Yin was, uh, I believe, he was either she. Kuan Yin. She's a she? Yeah. Well, I guess she's she's probably been uh, no, not Lady Nada. Uh, there's another one called Rowena. Lady Rowena. And I believe Lady, Lady Rowena was Kuan Yin. I don't know that for positive, but I'm sensing that's who Kuan Yin was. And uh, Rowena has actually moved on from the show. And she was from before Lady Nada. So quite interesting stuff. So as we learn about these mystical things and call them into our lives, they actually will help us to become ascended masters ourselves. And that's one of my goals. I want to, to ascend in this life because I don't want to have to return except to maybe teach here on planet Earth. I'd, I'd rather ascend into higher realms of love and life. And, and that's my goal. So uh, that's why I'm learning about all these Shohans and the, the uh, Seven Elohim and the Archangels and all the hierarchies because as we learn about them, we learn who they are and we can call upon them when we need help. And they do come to help us. In fact, St. Germain made the promise, and he didn't just make this to me, he's made it to everyone on the earth, that this is the end of a dispensation of time, and all of us either need to ascend, or we will have to come back and go through the third dimension again. And so he's here trying to get as many people in the ascension as possible. And he told me the ascension is in this generation and will come about within the next 20 years. And 
And so quite interesting information. So we've got 20 years to get ready for the Ascension. So we might as well start now. <laughs> so thank you for coming tonight. And